We're finally going in! We're at the Canadian Western Agribition in Regina. I used to go all the time when I was a kid, so I think it's been something like 12 years since I've been and I have been talking about it non-stop throughout mine and Carl's relationship. Um, so I've been very, very excited to come back here. So basically it's just an agriculture show. So everything that that has to do with livestock and machinery and farming, everything that has to do with agriculture basically. So we're gonna check it out. Oh, perfect fifth first try. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it goes on. Too much hair. View you about what's going on over there. Oh, I don't really know what's going on here. What is grooming? Um, so I think they're just grooming all of their cattle because they're going to take them to do like certain types of shows. So they'll take them um, to be judged, they'll take them to the auction, and eventually they'll hopefully sell them. So I think they're just, you know, vacuuming their hair and <laughs> like shampooing them and blow drying their hair and stuff like that. So why would somebody buy one? I think it's for breeding purposes, no. but I actually don't really There's know. There's so much detail. There's like two or three on each cow. Yeah. But this is a huge show. Like this is the biggest agriculture show in North America, or so I've heard. No so, way. I don't know if that's true, but, but yeah, it's a huge, huge show. People come from all over. Yeah, so I think we are in the what we have called the alpaca room, um, and they're conducting a I don't know what you call it an examination of the alpaca's wool, and they're grading it, and there will be a prize one. So, so they're looking for the fineness and the handling, so to make sure it's soft enough, and the architecture. Hey, I'm leaving off that wall. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to look like I was an expert. Okay. <laughs> And they're looking for like characteristics, like whether it's wavy or lumpy or curly or fluffy. Examine some alpacas ourselves. Hello, little babies. Oh, hello. You're so pretty.
Get in. Get in. <laughs> no, it's open. Get in there. <laughs> These are cool, huh? <laughs> oh, this one's got hair. <laughs> Tried to eat you. Why did you do that? Did not like him? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Trying to keep his cool. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> so kids from 4-H clubs all over the country, probably. Um, we'll bring their little cows here and dress them and prepare them and um, show them here at this auction, I think. I don't know if this is an auction or if it's no, like they're just judging them. We think that they're going to judge them based on some mysterious uh, categories. Yeah, obviously we're not experts so something could be going on that we have no idea. <laughs> but this is what we think is going on. So I think I heard them say when we walked in that this is ages 13 to 15. The kids, not the cats. Whoa, oh, oh no. Is this is loud captain? Probably. Okay. Look at their uniform. It's red. They're all wearing blue jeans <laughs> and black and uh, brown leather belts. It's cool. Hello, sir. It just looks like a cow with giant horns. Yeah, basically. They look like you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm <laughs> one of these boys. <laughs> oh, this one's horns are so long. Wow, yeah. I mean, imagine he's buying them all the time, but he's probably so used to it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, these are shaggy ones. Oh, like Scottish. Ones. Yeah, they're like. That's handy. I think these ones are way bigger than Scottish cows. Scottish cows look little. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're way smaller than this.